In chemistry, we are often working with solutions. And in the work we're about to do, investigating the, cons the change of the concentration of something in a consumer product, say orange juice, concentration of vitamin C, for example, is going to be very important in these solutions. What we need to know are two key things. We need to know the three units that concentration is often reported in, and we need to know how to convert one into the other. So as chemists, we usually use the unit moles per litre. So this is what we use in chemistry. The number of moles or amount in a litre. And you might not have a litre, um, but that's how many moles would be in a litre. In my next video, I'll go through how we work out how to make a solution of a desired moles per litre concentration. However, for consumer products, for everyday substances, people don't know what a mole is. They don't know how, how big a mole is. They can't imagine that. So it's something that sort of is only for chemists. So we need some more common sense um, units that people can understand hopefully a little bit better with lower scientific literacy. So what we find is that these chemistry units are reported on products as grams per litre or percentage and usually you'll see weight per volume or V over V volume per volume if it's a liquid dissolved in the solution. Grams per litre is exactly what you'd think. It's how many grams were dissolved or how many grams would you find left over if you evaporated off one litre of the solution. Um, and the weight per volume percentage is if you did it for 100 grams, so per cent per 100. So what we find is that these units here are usually only in chemistry, and these two here are used by society. So we need to know how to put the two together because we need to be able to communicate our, our chemistry in terms that our audience will understand. And most of our audience are not chemists, they are members of society. So we need to be able to convert them into each other. So, for this video I'm just going to give you the how to do it, not the why. I'm not going to go into the details, um, because the next video is going to show how we link these two together to make a solution of a desired concentration. So, if I know the grams per litre, say, of vitamin C in some orange juice, and I want to know that in moles per litre, then what I do is I'm effectively going from mass to amount, and I divide by the molar mass, the relative molar mass of that substance. So the relative molar mass of, if it was citric acid, citric acid, vitamin C, vitamin C. If it was sugar, it would be what you want it is, let's say sucrose, the molar mass of sucrose. So I need to work out the molar mass using my periodic table or looking it up on the internet. Um, and I divide my grams per litre by that number to get moles per litre. Not surprisingly, to go the other way, I simply multiply by that value. So if I know my moles per litre, but I want to report it in a more user-friendly um, concentration, grams per litre, I multiply by the molar mass. Now grams per litre and percentage are actually really, really easy. Because this is grams per litre, and this is grams per 100 mils, it's just getting the times and the divided by right. So let's say we had 10 grams per litre. So 10 grams in 1,000 mils. That means that in 100 mils, there'd only be 1 gram, so it'd be 1%. So, to go from grams per litre to percentage, I'm going to divide by 10. And no surprise, if I'm told the percentage, or I know the percentage, to get back into grams per litre, so I can then turn it into moles per litre, I go times 10. So, what do I need to know? Number one, I need to know the three units. So, learn the three units. That's a pretty easy thing to do. The next step's a little bit harder, and that is learn how to convert them into each other. So learn how to interconvert them.
So that's turn one unit into another unit. And that's mainly for communicating to your audience or taking their unit and turning it back into moles per litre so you can use it for analysis work. And that's our first one on solutions and concentration, just looking at units.